got some time I'm doing some fishing I know I think the last video you seen was me doing fishing but you may not know this but that was quite a few days ago I had to take a little break as I had all kinds of stuff to do at home so I kind of made a couple videos ahead so I could get all the stuff done uh, I had a very busy last three days holy let me tell you but I'm up here at Versailles State Park and we're gonna get our fishing on y'all. We're gonna after them carp, catfish, bluegill, hopefully no turtles. <coughs> Just in case we don't get any fish today, I'm gonna do kind of two videos in one. We're gonna talk about my shed in a box. Guys, it's pretty much almost to the date a year old. I've had it for a year and I'm here to tell you it was the one of the best investments my wife and I ever did. If I do this part right you should be seeing the shed in a box. I don't know maybe I'm showing the inside because this ain't gonna be done till tomorrow. Yeah that's what I'm gonna get the shed in a box on video. But it's one of the best investments we've ever did. It holds all of our fishing gear. It holds part of my mowing gear. My other part's underneath my deck. That's the part I need for my backyard which is a hell of a lot more mowing to do and not not only that it holds my shop back my cleaning supplies for the vehicles and whatever else i might need for them like oil uh windshield fluid and etc 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 it was one of the best investments and let me tell you something really cool i was actually going to do this part after a while so i could do some fishing but i might forget We've had, in this past year, so many windy days. Oh my God. And some of these winds were up to 60 and 70 miles an hour. Guys, my shed did not go blowing down the street. Not at all. Not one bit. It held every one of them winds. Of course, it could be because I have it down with center blocks as well. That could be it, but still in all. Now, there is one mishap I noticed back about a month ago. My shed has one teeny little leak. I haven't found it yet. All right, guys, I'm going to do some fishing, and we'll be back to talk about either fishing or the shed in a box. Two videos in one, man. That's right. You're getting two in one today. Well, the last time we went fishing, the water wasn't as cold. Well, it's cold now. We had some pretty cold days, and this morning we had frost. I've been getting some bites on the worm, but I ain't catching them. So, what's that mean? I don't know. But anyway, what there? Popcorn? Oh, Lord, no. That got nuts in it? No. Back when I was a kid, Mom and I used to get uh, popcorn um, glazed. I, I think it was caramel popcorn. And it always had nuts in it. That was so good when I was a kid. Cracker Jacks. Yeah, well, it tastes like Cracker Jacks. But anyway, guys, let's get back on the subject. I'm sorry. I get it. I'll let you guys see the lake behind me. Um... I developed a leak in this shed, okay? Uh, it's right above where I have my hat hanging. I haven't spotted it yet. I think the only way I can spot it is if I go into the shed and just when it's raining and see if I can find it. Don't know where it came from. It's got to be no more than a pen size. But I did develop one leak. Now, does that make the shed bad? Hell no. As a matter of fact, if I find the leak, I got the perfect stuff to fix it with. Yeah. And the shed only costs us, I think, what, 164 bucks? Mm. I don't remember. You, oh, I got a bite. Be right back. Well, I caught a fish. I am not showing it. It's a little bluegill. So this year I'm doing something different. The fish I will be showing in my videos are something of you know, the bigger size or something that maybe we're talking about. Bluegills, no, nah, I probably won't ever show them. But at least I caught a fish. Well, guys, we don't know how much longer we're going to stay. It's it's not really because it's windy, which it is. And it's still kind of warm. It's just I'm getting hungries. I busted my ass this morning. I did. You can have some popcorn. I don't want no popcorn, dear. Oh, for the love of ketchup. I don't want that junk. <laughs> oh, here I go again, getting another bite. So, guys, I tell you what, we figure out what we're doing. But yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about the shed. Matter of fact, I do it now while I'm watching my pole. It is one of the best things I've ever gotten. It is. 
It's done everything I needed to do. I was afraid the zippers will go out, but they haven't yet. We do have a problem at the beginning of it, and I'm going to show you this part right now. At the beginning of it, it's the, the opening where you zip it up. It's a little higher up because we have cats that keep going in and out to get out of the weather. I don't mind because they're getting, you know, they're getting out of the, out of the weather if it rains or if it's too cold. But they're also spraying some stuff in there, too. Oh, my gosh. When we first got the chairs out this uh, spring, yeah, it was pretty stinky. <laughs> but by them going in and out, it's making that lip a little bit high off the ground. All right, guys. I would give another vlog entry if we leave. I don't know. Don't know what we're doing. All right, guys. This will conclude my video right here. If you guys are ever shopping for a shed and you can't afford a metal one, or a wooden one, do what I did a year ago. I went out and got a shed in a box at Walmart. It is fabric, it reminds me of a big old tent, and it's served this purpose now for a year. I don't know how many years I'll be able to get out of it. It may break tomorrow, I don't know. But so far it's doing its job. And all you see right behind me, right here in this wagon, all that's going in the shed when I get home. All right guys, that's been my video. Oh, we didn't fish as long as we wanted to. I'm getting hungry. Plus, I'm worn out. I worked hard today, guys. Oh, back to walking tomorrow. Oh, today I didn't walk because I had so much to do. So much work to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did I ever. But I'm making it to walk up tomorrow. All right, guys. Till next time. Come on. Let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments.